So the Ezio collection has been out for four, five days now, uh, whatever. It's been out for about a week, and there's a mixed opinion about it. I mean, I haven't played it myself, but I know for a fact that the mixed opinion is based on confusion due to a video made by Polygon, in which they are comparing the remastered Assassin's Creed 2 to the original game. And it's pretty obvious that they are going out of their way to make the remaster look worse than it is. Because they're featuring smooth gameplay and all that in Assassin's Creed 2 original. And then in the remaster they're featuring loads and loads of glitches. Flickering glitches which by the way appear in every single game. Every single game has flickering issues. At some point you're going to experience it. Whether it's Watch Dogs 2, Rayman, Skyrim, fucking... I don't know, I'm a sad bastard and don't play anything else. And also, most prominently, a fast climbing glitch. And in reality, a re reboot of your entire console probably would have fixed that. So, why is that not bad for the remaster? Well, it's in the original game, because that fast climbing thing, it can happen at random. <laughs> Because it's a glitch, it's not meant to happen at all, but when it does, it's, it's weird, but it's funny as fuck. And it happens in every single original Ezio game, if you're unlucky enough. I mean, it's, it's shitty to get glitches in anything, but you're misadvertising here. You're sort of blaming it on the remaster, when in reality it's in the coding of the original game as well, so... Therefore, it's, it's a bit of a flawed argument. Don't get me started on this abomination. So, in the thumbnail of the Polygon video, instead of using a nice scenic shot, what they use is that glitchy face. Now, that glitchy face is... They use that in the remaster like, Oh my god, everyone's gonna see this because it's there. No, they're zooming on it like it's important when it's actually a background feature. It's hideous, I know, and it shouldn't be there, I agree. And it's a glitch. It's a randomly generated... All these unnamed random NPCs that appear in cutscenes are randomly generated like that face could have been anybody it could it could have been fucking James Welford it could but the, the point is as much as that's there and I accept that that's there and it looks pretty awful it's gonna be there for hardly anybody which means that the experience there is misleading I understand that it's there but they don't have to put emphasis on the fact that it is there people can visibly see the face they don't need to zoom in, then have it say, kill me, and then fade to the next thing, like you make, you're sort of taking the piss. You're supposed to be accurately representing the game. You're not supposed to be sort of making it look like a living laughing stock of its former self. At several points, there are fluidity errors in the remaster's gameplay. Now, from my experience, those fluidity errors are either due to a lack of experience with the game, or the controls and etc., which, trust me, Assassin's Creed can be fiddly first time, or it's completely deliberate because he just completely goes off course sometimes and that that doesn't happen. I mean, not when you're on a rooftop at least. On the ground, I'd understand if you started randomly running up a wall because that is a problem in Assassin's Creed and it's always had that problem. Not saying that I 100% know it could actually be a thing. However, it doesn't look like it is. Do you want to see accurate representation of what the Ezio collection actually is? Go watch James, George or Tyler because they're actual Assassin's Creed fans and they're playing it for what it is. They're not... They're not there trying to make it a laughing stock. They're just playing it how it is, how they get it, how it, they don't they don't make it look worse than it possibly is. So go ahead and check them out. I'll leave links to them in the description. Now the question is, why did Polygon format this sort of comparison in this way? Well, it's pretty simple. You see, over the past couple of years, ever since around the release of Assassin's Creed 3, uh, up, up until the release of Assassin's Creed Unity, and then it just blew up, there's been a Ubisoft hate bandwagon. You're probably wondering, why is this? Well, they have released a couple of buggy games with really poor ports before. Two of which being Watch Dogs on PC and Assassin's Creed Unity across all platforms, which was pretty unforgivable, I know. However, two years later, the Ubisoft hate bandwagon still grows strong and they haven't really done anything as bad since Unity. So negatively advertising a Ubisoft game in the thumbnail is definitely going to be more appealing to the audience than positively reviewing it because people love negativity. 
So they're appealing to that. And at the same time, there's this massive Ubisoft hate bandwagon going on. So Polygon's like, oh shit, we've had a bit of a glitch here and there with Assassin's Creed 2. Let's make it look like a complete laughing stock and get views. And that's exactly what they've done. They're not trying to sell the game to you. They're trying to get views. Hell, even the title is clickbait in a negative way. Assassin's Creed 2, what have you done? If that's not reeling you in for negativity, what the fuck is, you know? I mean... If you run into a buggy version of a good Ubisoft game, you're in for a lot of fucking views on YouTube, alright? Because everybody wants to cut Ubisoft down. Believe me, me included. <laughs> the best people to go to to see an accurate representation of what the Ezio collection is like is Lasers, Longed Fox, and Tynamite. They'll tell you what it's like. Because then they're not going to say, oh, it's great if it's not. They'll tell you how it is. They'll tell you the good points, the bad points. They'll tell you what they like, what they don't like. They'll tell you everything how it is. They won't manipulate it in any way. They're, they're more honest than these big companies that what they want to do is... They're just trying to expand their business. And the best way to do that sometimes is to slander something. And this is sort of the, what they're doing. I forgot Nick from the Creed. I'll link him as well. Just scrolling through the comments of this Polygon video. There are a lot of people visibly Assassin's Creed fans. Because they've got AC profile pictures. Probably unironically. I mean I'm not googling to see if they're legit or not or whatever. But... What they're saying is stuff like, oh, this is disappointing. Ubisoft are the first people to unmaster a game. Stuff like that. When in reality, this is just Polygon sort of trying to make people think this by inaccurately representing the Ezio collection. I mean, it might be their experience, but at the same time, it, it, it does take like a quick Google search and you could look at anybody else's videos and you can tell that their, their experience is nothing like this glitchy mess that Polygon's advertising when in reality they're just showing the glitchy parts, the parts where they fuck up and stuff like that. Hell, towards the end of the video, they're, they're, they're on top of this, forget what it's called, and when Ezio does the leap of faith in the original Assassin's Creed 2, Ezio falls the fuck backwards in the remaster into the haystack like, oh, like a fucking retard, like... I mean, that's, yeah, great and all, but wouldn't you line them up to do that instead of making it look like a fucking mess? You could set that up. You don't, you, you wouldn't record that and upload it like that. that. That's just, again, that's them taking the piss. That's them sort of, I mean, it's a good joke and all, I like it, but at the same time, it's trying to give people the impression that the game is just complete and utter fucking shit. So you're not really likely to experience shit like this when you play it for yourself. So that's what I advise you do. Play it for yourself. And if you want honest opinions on the Ezio collection, go check out the YouTubers that I linked because they've got they've got Ezio collection content and they give their opinions on it. They're not a mass company doing it as a job. They're doing it because, well, James is, but they're doing it, but they're, they're gaming for leisure and they'll tell you what it's like and they'll be honest about it. I've really fucked up the continuity of this fucking video. But I've covered the main points. The only reason Polygon is doing this because they know they'll get views from hating on Ubisoft. Trust me, I do it myself. I wouldn't consider this an accurate comparison as you're not likely to experience the fast climbing glitch, that fucking ugly face, which by the way is majestic as shit, or any of the other things featured in the video. I don't think there's anything else featured that's just them goofing around for some fucking reason. They're just goofing around in... Florence, they don't even go to Venice or Tuscany or anything like that. It's not really representing the game very well at all, if you think about it. Also, I see people saying, oh, it's just another Ubisoft money grab. You see, the thing is about money and making games is you wouldn't make the game if you didn't think you could earn money out of it. So, well done for realizing that, genius. But thanks for watching this rave. Well, rave? Jesus, fuck. Hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, check out the those Smex YouTubers I linked in the description, all of them are better than I am. Fuck, I need to improve my content. Barry, where the fuck are you? But, yeah. So, ah, I love spending ten minutes shouting at a camera.